let's talk about go routines. So go routines are lightweight threads of execution and they are functions or methods that run concurrently with other functions. And unlike traditional OS threads, go routines are very efficient and have minimal memory overhead, typically around two kilobytes. The Go runtime manages their scheduling, making concurrency simpler and faster without needing to manage complex thread pools directly. And you can see in the sample code, we spin up two Go routines to run concurrently with each other and with the main function. These two Go routines are performing this print message method. It iterates from 0 to 4 inclusive, prints the message that's passed in, and it'll sleep for 500 milliseconds. It's very important that these two go routines are followed by a time.sleep for three seconds because by default, these two go routines are actually non-blocking, meaning once the main function invokes these two go routines to run concurrently, it will continue to the next line in the main function. Without the time.sleep, the fmt.print line, line would execute, and then the main function would exit abruptly. So this non-blocking execution principle is very important. This time.sleep call actually means that the program would not terminate immediately and provides these go routines approximately three seconds to perform their work. And so if I run this program, we get a waiting for a remote server, and now we're anticipating some output. Notice that the output is go routine one printing 0, go routine 2 printing 0, and then go routine 2 printing 1, go routine 1 printing 1. The reason why this is not perfectly interleaved is because the time.sleep method call is not exactly 500 milliseconds. It could be 498 milliseconds, it could be 502 milliseconds, and this is why go routine 1 is not consistently printing 0, um, and then go routine 2 printing 0, go routine 1 printing 1, go routine 2 printing 1, etc, etc. This is just due to the nature of how time.sleep is working um, under the hood. And another important thing to call out is that go routines are very different from threads. Go routines are much lighter than OS threads, and you can easily run thousands or even millions of go routines, whereas creating too many threads in most languages would quickly consume memory and CPU resources. Uh, a second part that's very important about Go routines is there are auto scheduling capabilities built in. So the Go runtime scheduler is managing these Go routines. And it maps many Go routines onto fewer operating system threads behind the scenes. And an important concept that I've covered is non blocking nature of Go routines. So Go routines, these two Go routines that are executing concurrently, do not block the execution of the program like threads can. Functions executed as GoRoutines can run independently of the main program. And so in future videos, I'm going to discuss more about GoRoutines, channels, uh, different kinds of channels like buffered channels or unbuffered channels, and I'm also going to talk about mutexes, so stay tuned for those.